I see my style as very primal. I mean, I don't use too much fancy stuff. I hardly use spray paint, just brush. I don't even need colors. You can give me a black and white thing and I'll destroy it, you know? My name is Alex Kizu, also known as Defer. I like to relate my work in, in, in a sense of, of that flow state where if you were to look at music, you know, hip hop to me, when I'm drawing or painting is how I put hell on paper. You know what I mean? I'm wreaking havoc. As a kid growing up in Boyle High, you saw that on the walls, but it wasn't seen as an art form. But as a graffiti writer, I kind of saw a little bit of art in there. Now my style is an evolution that I call spiritual language. It's basically an obliteration of letter form. I've been very influenced by a lot of, uh, I guess, ancient Japanese manuals, the Book of Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi, um, Harakura, which means beneath the leaf or hidden under the leaf. I've used these concepts and precepts you know, not only in my art, but in life, you know, this, this uh, diligence to craft, this diligence to uh, pursue a certain enlightenment that is deeper than, you know, material. Yeah, actually my grandfather, he was a uh, real famous in the realm of uh, appraising swords, samurai swords. He taught me a lot of the ancient history about the samurai culture, how to clean the swords, to carry them, to, um, respect them. Basically, I feel a lot of that ancient energy flowing through my veins when, you know, I'm painting, you know, I, there's often times where I have like, like Miyamoto Musashi's school was the school of two swords. And there's times where I, I have two brushes on me, literally one's useless because I don't paint with my left hand, but I need it there. Like my crew in particular, we kind of infused what we saw in our neighborhoods, like the, the placasos and the block letters, the old English letters, and we made a hybrid of it. We kind of infused that into our style, which made it unique. We kind of are like, I guess now historically recognized as an LA crew that had a distinct Los Angeles flavor that kind of deviated from everything else. And I think it just was a result of where we lived. We were a product of our environment, what we were exposed to as kids and infusing it into, you know, different styles and using certain elements from the East Coast and Los Angeles and putting it into the, causing this hybrid fusion style. You know, once you do one thing, it's back to square zero. You go right back, you know, and you train for the next fight, you train for the next painting, you train for the next show. Constantly sharpening your sword. That's what I think. That's what pushes me to go to the next level. I'm trying to constantly reach that level and diligently in solitude, constantly trying to reach that level of perfection, which I'm not going to attain.